Hey guys, welcome to another video. And in this one, we're gonna be looking at this landscape photograph and how I can process it with not Lightroom, not Photoshop, but a new piece of software that I've just started working with. Um, I was actually approached by the company that make this piece of software, Skylum Labs, and um, they said to me, hey, would you be interested in trialing our software? And if you like it, just put the word out there. And I was kind of, you know what, I'm, I'm like really set in my ways. I love Adobe Photoshop, I love Lightroom. I stand by those products, they're so good. And I've invested so many years of my life learning those bits of software. So it's gonna take something extra special to actually even turn my head slightly. Um, but I, the other day I thought, what the hey, I'm just gonna have a little play around um, and see what this software is capable of. I really didn't expect too much to be honest. Um, and I'm I'm actually, I don't wanna say blown away, um, but I, I kind of am blown away by some of the features that are here in the workflow process. Um, it's super easy and super powerful. Um, there's a couple of features within this program that are not available through Photoshop and Lightroom. Um, and just those on their own make this software, for me, well worth a look. I'm gonna be diving into it deeper going forward, but come with me on this little journey. Like I said, I'm very new to this, but what the potential of this software is, is really exciting. Let's have a look at what we can do with this photograph that I shot in a beautiful place called Arrowtown, New Zealand. Um, it was autumn. The leaves were kind of going a nice yellowy color. Um, and in my capture, they actually look quite green, um, which I've never been in love with, but I love the fact that we've got this beautiful kind of tunnel effect going with the trees either side. Um, and there's sunlight kind of bleeding into the image. So let's see what we can do really quickly um, with this piece of software and dive in. Okay, so the first thing we see is we've got, got our image here. I love these beautiful tall trees. Like I say, the leaves that, that I saw and what I sensed when I was there was everything was very yellowy, very orangey. Um, and I'm just not seeing that in this photograph. Um, so what I wanna give is, this is more of an autumnal feel. I wanna see if I can create the kind of look I might do when I was working in Photoshop. I might bleed some sunlight through the trees, um, you know, give it a bit of atmosphere for those rays of light to catch into. Um, can we do that in this software? Let's, let's have a look. So what you need to do is from, uh, currently we can't do anything, we have a clear workspace, but we have a drop down here where we can choose the workspace we want to go with. Um, so for example, if we went to a professional workspace, we have all, all the ch uh, um, standard changes you'd probably see in something like Lightroom. Um, very, very similar, slider based, exposure up, exposure down, contrast up, contrast down, a double click resets it to the center. Everything is really similar in feel, which is really nice. Um, so that transition over to this piece of software has been really painless. Um, but the way I want to actually work is to clear my workspace and just add individual filters, the ones that take my pick, take my fancy, this this one here, this is amazing. This is one of the ones I mentioned before, Accent AI filter, double click that. Um, you don't need to double click it, or it does two of them. Click it once, that's gonna add one in. This AI is artificial intelligence boost, and for every photo that I've brought in, you boost it up, and the AI does a great job of enhancing that photo. So for a lot of people, that one slider if you're a newbie to photography or you just want a quick result, that one slider, boom, you're done. Um, but let's let's do that and what we can do is layer these filters on top of each other. So I could come looking for another one that I might want to add. So maybe we want to add a bit of clarity. Let's just add a little bit of clarity. It's already pretty punchy and contrasty so I won't do too much with that. Um, Brilliance and warmth, that sounds good. Let's throw some of that on there, warmth. Ah, uh, yeah, we're starting to get more of an autumnal feel if we warm the image up, that's nice. Um, foliage enhancer, 
Well, why don't we enhance the foliage? Okay, so obviously that would beautifully bring out the greens, um, but I don't really want it to look green. I want more yellows. So if we can change the hue, check this out, check this out. We can change the hue. So rather than being a green hue, we can actually push and force those leaves to the more of the color that I actually was feeling and seeing when I, when I was actually there with my eyes. It's quite yellowy, but we'll press on golden hour. Let's throw some of that in there. Ooh, golden hour. Now, just like with when I'm working in Lightroom, um, at least initially, don't be afraid to grab hold of those sliders and crank them around, throw them around and just see what's happening. What happens when you push it to the max one way or the other? And that'll get you a sense of what that slider does. And then you can decide, well, how much of that do I want? And then just be a little bit subtle with it. Um, image radiance. Now this one, I really love this as well. If I, if I push this all the way up, you see how it gives a, um, a really nice glow to the image. Uh, this is akin to a, a couple of filters that I've used in Photoshop and sometimes I will go with my landscape photos to Photoshop just just solely for this effect. So the fact that I can do this here in this software um, all in one place, I love it. So let's bump that up, maybe a bit more warmth. I still feel like things are a little bit yellow so we may need to um, fix that. I mean we've got a hue shift here so we could we could always shift the hue. Oh, wow, okay, straight away, let's do that. Push those yellows more towards an autumnal orange. Ooh, yeah, really getting a nice feel for that now. Um, we've got an autumn effect. Um, not sure if you guys know what the autumn effect is, but it's um, well used within landscape photography. Um, some may say overused, but uh, if, if that's it to the extreme, um, I really don't like that. That is it's quite similar to the original Autumn effect, which for my taste is too much, but we can always use a little bit of that. Let's, let's throw some of that in there. Uh, now this sun rays, this is cool. I really like this. So you guys, if you're familiar with my work, you may have actually seen that I've actually done a few sun rays or at least one sun ray tutorial, how to fake sun rays in Photoshop. It's time consuming. It's, um, the results are good if, if you follow my way, <laughs> but um, yeah, it's time consuming. And I can just click sun rays as a filter. Then I can go place sun center. Oh, wow. Look at that. Look at that. Ah, uh, that's absolutely beautiful. I love this. I really love this. So now we've got the option to place this sun wherever we want it. And what I want to do is emulate seeing where the shadows are falling across the trip from the trees and replicate where the sun would have actually been. And if we poke that through here, something like that might be quite nice. Let's let's be aggressive with this and just see. Okay, so if we push it too far, it looks pretty fake. But while it's that strong, that might allow us to kind of have a little play around with these other sliders. And there we go. Lengthen the beams. Nice. Um, we can warm them up. That's way too much. Yeah, maybe we don't want them too warm. We can look at the radius. Uh, okay, that's the actual bleed from the sun itself. We don't want to push that too far, I wouldn't say. Um, the glow amount. Yeah, we want our sun to glow, surely. And let's see what else we've got here. Our oh, randomization. So if we, yeah, look at this. If we move this slider, we can actually control, well, not really control, but choose a setting for this randomization that we actually like. So that's not too bad. The main stream is coming down to the, the middle of our path, which is pretty cool. Now let's, let's just change it up a little more. That might be quite nice because it's a bit more subtle. And now, now we've got that kind of where we want it to go. We can just fade it off, fade it off. So we've still got the effect, but it's not as strong. Maybe we'll even bring that glow amount down just a little bit. 
Okay, what else have we got here that we can throw onto the image? If we're happy with this image, um, we can always add a LUT map um, so we can give it a bit of color toning in a simple way. Um, we could always, let's try this soft glow. And let's grab that. Oh yeah, okay. So now we're we're creating a really nice pretty glow. Yeah, let's let's throw that on there. That's nice. Do we want to warm that up? Let's see. Oh yeah, if we warm it a little bit, it keeps in with the same yellowy tones and the yellow color palette. I like that. Um highlights and shadows. How about we throw that on? We just see if we can if boosting the shadows. Hmm. I feel like we're losing some of the mystery of the image if we increase those shadows too much. Um, what about the highlights? Yeah, if, if we increase the highlights too much, we're actually just um, creating too many hotspots. It's distracting. So let's, let's smash that away. Let's kill it, hit the X, it's gone. How easy is this? I love it. Um, okay, what else have we got here? What about a bit of fog? Might seem strange, but let's uh, let's try. Okay, if we if we bring up a little bit of fog here, I don't want to go too far, but I'm just thinking a little bit of atmosphere because I always feel like if you can have sun rays, the only time you actually see sun rays is when there's some mist in the air, a bit of fog, because those rays need to be visible through something. If if it's a clear day, mid middle of the day why would there be sun rays visible? So let's add a little bit of fog. I'm happy with that. Now let's throw in our um, a LUT map so we can actually give it a, a look. So we can just choose from any of these. Let's have a look, candlelight. Pretty cool, I like that. Wooden. I like that too. <laughs> okay, uh, let's have a look. Genius. Yeah, not so much for me. I'm sure there's a whole heap of other really cool ones in here. Now these are like really peaking the whites um, and crushing down the blacks. But the nice thing is what we can do is actually grab the amount. If we like the effect, but we don't want it a hundred percent, we can just grab that slider and fade it off to somewhere where we do like it. Um, that's pretty nice. Kodak Chrome three. Nice. Um, the other one I quite liked was wooden. Yeah, it's a it's a bit softer. We can actually probably increase the amount just slightly. Um, and I'm gonna say I'm I'm happy with that image. Um, that's really nice. Uh, one thing I might just want to do is just yeah, you can do the same thing that you can do in Lightroom, which is um, not only crop the image by bringing uh, the corners in and extending them, but you can actually use the crop tool to balance your photo. So if you know that you haven't quite nailed your horizon line straight, or the trees are a pretty good guide, um, the vertical nature of the trees in this one, um, what I can do is just straighten that up and double click, I would think. No, if we hit done in the top corner there, that'd be the way, done. So if you are in any way excited by the prospect of using software like this, as opposed to um, Adobe Photoshop or Lightroom, um, these guys are actually uh, putting the software out there on a, in a different way, the way that Adobe used to sell their software, which is a one-off payment. Um, and I think for me, it is super affordable. It's 69 US dollars. Um, furthermore, if you use the link that these guys have actually given me, um, you guys can actually benefit with a 10% discount at the moment. So if you want to download this um, software and give it a try, um, there's actually a free trial. So give that a go um, and just see for yourself if you like it. If you do, use the link below and you'll get 10% off as well. So yeah. Dive in guys, give it a go. Um, 
if you do, if you do get your, this software, let me know. And I, I'm happy to actually put together some more tutorials and demonstrations of me using this because I'm happy to push forward and actually give this a go with more edits. So whether that be maybe try some architecture, some portraits, things like that. If you guys want to see how I approach that with this software, um, I'm certainly going to be doing it. So if you want to see me video it, um, let me know in the comments. And yeah, let me know if you get a copy. Cool. Cheers, guys. I'll catch you in the next one.